Good morning. Uh, delighted to see everybody back again. Uh, not too much breakage since yesterday, it seems. Um, and uh, I, be, be, before we get busy, one last uh, opportunity to thank uh, our host last night, Ron Brashear. The Chemical Heritage folks were terrific. It's a lot of fun. Thanks, Ron. Uh, and, and, now, and now you have a, a whole room full of evangelists for the, uh, for the foundation, all those folks who, who didn't know uh, about that wonderful institution. It was a lot of fun. Thank you. Uh, so, so this morning, we're, we're turning to the, uh, to the third theme that, that, that we chose uh, for, the, uh, for the gathering. Uh, and it's, we're focusing on space today. Um, and what, what I wanted to say about, um, uh, 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 in terms of setting some context, was, was really related to the library. And if you think about the library um, and, and the way that uh, public perception of the library uh, 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 really happens and, and talk to end users, whether public uh, library users or academic library users, you get essentially three uh, kinds of uh, significant perceptions. I mean, one is about the books. Uh, books is uh, a, a definitive characteristic of the library brand. Uh, in fact, uh, the last uh, environmental scan that uh, OCLC did, in terms of perceptions, the, the, the solidity of the impression that books is the library actually grew uh, over the five-year period between the two times uh, uh, that we did this uh, same uh, uh, library perception survey. So what you had was, was books uh, was the number one thing associated with library by 79% of the, the folks that were uh, queried. So, so books, the aggregation, is a, is a significant piece of, of the library. The other part uh, that came up again and again was it's the building, it's the place. Um, uh, and, and, and that, again, is true from across the academic user community and the public library user community. Uh, and then the third thing that that uh, comes up is is it's uh, it's a place, it's, uh, 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 my spot where I go to to learn to read. Um, so you have you have these three you know really significant uh, deeply held perceptions about the library. It's it's about the aggregation, its books, it's about space, the building, and it's about place, uh, you know, a spot for me. Uh, and it seems to me that, that uh, the, when you put those things together, uh, the real opportunity here is it's, it's stuff plus space plus my space. And, and, and what you have is the opportunity to create community around uh, those assets, around the aggregation, around the asset, that asset, around the building as an asset, and around the, 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 the personal feelings associated with, uh, with the space. And what I'm hoping is, is we'll be having a, a discussion with our uh, presenters afterwards uh, who all have a different uh, perception and take on the, uh, the space, the library space within a campus environment and the kind of distinctive asset it is in, in terms of creating partnerships and creating communities. Um, so I'm, I'm really delighted that, uh, that, that we have such a great panel this morning and uh, 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 an experienced set of reactors, all of whom have uh, personal experience uh, that they can bring to, uh, to the discussion. So we'll, I'm going to turn it over to Sarah, who will begin. And uh, after the uh, presentations, we'll, we'll take some time for questions. And, and then we've arranged for uh, a, a break before we have the final discussion. Thank you.